Hello and welcome to a new video on Neural Network C++ and MQL5. I'm your host, Trader Zeta, and hopefully you're doing very, very well. Here what we've done in MQL5 is we implemented a DLL that has a neural network written in C++. We compare the two times, in this case, this DLL took 25 seconds to train, and the neural network in MQL5 took 29 seconds to train. Now, this might be negligible time, like you know, four to six seconds here and there. But say, for example, if you have 100 iterations, you know, 100 iterations of four to six seconds, say, for example, we take six seconds, uh, six times 100, that's 600 seconds. And that's really about like 10 minutes, right? So this uh, speed up could be quite significant if it was uh, really, really optimized and really, really pruned. So let's go over what it looks like to implement a neural network in uh, a DLL. So first we're going to start with the MQL5 code, right? So here we have a neuroplastic neural network that I wrote and we've instantiated the class right here and we give it the exact same parameters uh, that we give the uh, neural network in C++. In order to get the functions from the DLL, what we have to do is we have to instantiate them right here. Now one thing we should note is that the neural network uh, STO DLL is built in the libraries folder so we can easily point to the DLL. Okay, And what we're going to do is we're going to build this DLL with release, not debug, but release because this puts everything into this DLL. Okay, And then once that's good we can, cons we can call the construction function and I say construction function because this is not a true constructor. In fact, this is actually a function that calls the constructor and then puts it into a vector, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to have some matrix in, out, and prediction. We're gonna fill them with values between zero and one. And we're going to do that uh, again uh, with these for the DLL. And as you can see, uh, there's some other stuff going on there that we don't need to worry about. But what we're going to do is we're going to get the time now and the time finished. And between that time is we're going to train the uh, uh, the C++ uh, neural network in, in the DLL. Then we're going to do the same exact thing. Uh, we're going to get the start time and the finish time for the uh, train neural network um, in MQL5. And we're going to put in all the same values. So it's an exact same kind of test. And we see that the C++ neural network is slightly faster. There is some call time that can uh, unfortunately take some time back and forth, but overall, over large scales of samples, uh, this is a significantly quicker um, and more uh, realistic way to do it, okay? Not only that, but the C++ neural network can then call other things and it can have some like background relationships with other languages if, we, if need be. So this is very, very nice, right? So we are very particularly interested in this uh, C++ neural network. So I'm going to show what it looks like. And as you can see, I've just built it and there's a little extra here. Um, but it is exactly uh, the same as the one as we've built in MQL5. Uh, just with some syntax change, okay? So this is a .cpp file, and here we're going to you know, include the header and some uh, uh, libraries here. We have vector, eigendense, utility, future, thread, math, and random, and this pch.h. These are all necessary. In fact, this eigen uh, class, you have to go through to the package manager under uh, tools and uh, this package manager right here and you will have to get and, and download the eigendense uh, library, okay? So we have using namespace std, we have uh, two extra values that we don't really need, and what we've done is in the header file, we have instantiated the class, right? So in C++, we can split the uh, heading of the file uh, with the um, this header file, right? So what we need is this exports DLL, so neural networks, sto DLL. So we're gonna name this exactly the same as the, uh, the uh, DLL, and we're gonna create APIs out of it, right? So we're gonna tell it when to import and export, 
And with what value? Again, we also uh, have these includes. We're going to make this class a part of the API. And it's exactly like any other language, except for matrix. Now we have eigen matrix XD. Okay. And as you can see, it's very, very intuitive once you get this idea that all the matrices are just replaced with matrix XD. Okay. So it's pretty much the same. Okay. And we just instantiate everything. And the only thing else that's different is that we need to uh, create these functions that can call these uh, classes and their functions. So we're kind of wrapping them in a wrapper and use extern C so the MQL5 library can see these functions. Okay. We also have uh, train parallel and a whole bunch of other cool stuff that we will get to. So let's talk about uh, load weights has not been written yet. We have compute derivatives. So we're going to compute their derivatives, which is very, very nice. We have um, this neural network, right? Um, it's very, very nice. This is the constructor. And we're going to just load up all the values. And we are going to construct uh, two uh, random matrices. Uh, most of the time, these would be normal distribution. But normal distribution is not really accessible here. So these are just uh, the random is between negative 1 and 1. And we're going to multiply by 2. So it's negative 2 to, negative, so to positive 2. Um, so it's good enough. So we have matrix uh, prediction, we do the input. So we want something different uh, from forward propagation um, and prediction because in a neural uh, plastic uh, neural network, uh, we have these random variables in the training, but we don't want them on the way out, okay? So in the prediction, this has no, uh, you know, these are just regular activation functions, not stochastic activation functions. So we have the get cost, get iters, we do the training loop. Um, the training loop is exactly like as it is in uh, MQL5. And you know there's very, very little difference. The only thing that I've really run into is that matrix multiplication, in this case, is the dot operator. So when we're matrix multiplying, we have to use this. And then we, we do C um, element-wise product, we have to use uh, that type of function. The translation is actually quite simple, and there are really no algorithm changes at all. Um, it's just all of it. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, create a vector of neural network, and we are going to construct a neural network. And every single time we construct a neural network, we're going to keep track of the number of that neural network, and we're going to return it. And that's going to be the number uh, in the my vector. So we'll have you know neural network one, neural network two, neural network three, so on and so forth. Now, say for example, we wanted to call one of those neural networks and train on it, you would give it the number of that neural network and all the regular values. Now, in the documentation, it says you're actually quite limited to what you can throw in uh, to these inputs, but that's actually not really the case. As long as you have the pointer, you can kind of achieve anything. So in this case, uh, this is a double uh, uh, pointer to input, and the input is actually going to be matrix. So the matrix itself is a, uh, a pointer. It's a class built into MQL5. And all you have to do is uh, use this pointer, and th the values that are returned are, in fact, a just straight uh, array of doubles from the, uh, from the matrix. So it unpacks the matrix and just puts it into a, a long array. And all you have to do is take that input and then plug it into uh, this constructor, this map, and then give it the row size and the column size, and you're really, really good. Okay, so we throw those uh, matrices into the training matrix, and it's going to train the matrix uh, of the number uh, class that we give it. Now, the question is, is that C++ can do parallel computation. The question is, what if we throw them all in together? Uh, I feel like this is something worth exploring. Now, for whatever reason, this has actually turned out to be a quite slow process, but I'm still figuring this out, and deep down, I think this is actually a worthwhile endeavor. But say, for example, you have seven, eight, you know, whatever neural networks that you want to train at once, using this parallel computation and assigning each one of these uh, to um, uh, you know, uh, a thread, is actually quite an interesting idea.
Here are the get costs, get iters. The prediction, we're going to call the prediction uh, function from the neural network of our choice. And we have the sigmoid and the sigmoid prime. Now, I should say something about sigmoid and sigmoid prime. Classically, we include the A into, this, uh, into the calculations, so it's obviously stochastic and neuroplastic. But here we use the regular activations, and the random values are actually just multiplied in as matrices. Okay, So here we have M underscore A1, and we're just going to do a C-wise product with the, vec uh, the matrix and then apply the activation function, which is mathematically identical. Like, it is mathematically the same thing, okay? Uh, we're just like stochasticizing this C, Y, uh, this M, Z, 2 uh, right here, and then applying the activation function. Exactly the same thing, mathematically. So this was a lot of fun to do. Uh, other than that, I, I can show the uh, neural network DLL. Uh, this is the main, right? So you just have to include everything. It's very, very cool. So if you're willing to uh, spend the time and create DLLs, all you have to do is go to Create New Project in Visual Studio, select a dy dynamically linked library, and then you have to point um, the DLL, con the, the, the project construction, in the libraries folder. And then when you're done, uh, just build uh, with release, because release will package everything together for you. So hopefully you enjoyed this video, uh, like, share, and subscribe.